Hi, this is Kevin with the Virtual Planetarium at Raritan Valley Community College. Welcome to our weekly Star Talk. Today we are going to be using Orion's Belt to find and identify other stars and constellations in the sky. But before we do that, let's talk about our upcoming moon phases. We have a last quarter moon on January 25th, we have a new moon on February 1st, and then we have a first quarter moon on February 8th. So last week we talked about the constellation of Orion, which we have right here in the sky, and we just talked about its brightest stars, which are the easiest stars to see. And just in case you don't remember, we talked about the Orion's belt right here in the middle, and then we said how he had two shoulders, one up here on the left, Betelgeuse, and one over here on the right, and then Orion has his two knees down here, Rigel, the brightest star in the constellation, and then Saif down here. Now, today, like I said last week, we are going to be using Orion's belt right here in the middle to find and identify a few other stars and constellations in the winter sky. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to zoom out a little bit more so we can see a little more of the sky. There we go, and we can see Orion still right here. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to take these last two stars of the belt right here. Actually, all three stars of the belt work. If we follow the belt upwards and in that direction, we come to this group of stars right over here. Now, this is a group of stars we've talked about previously, and this is a star cluster known as the Pleiades. The Pleiades belong to the constellation of Taurus the Bull, but they're kind of like on the back of the bull. Here, let me pull up the Pleiades so we can see them center on the Pleiades right here. And if you remember from a few weeks ago, the Pleiades are six or seven stars that we can see with just our naked eye. They kind of look like a tiny, tiny little dipper, but they're not the little dipper. That's actually in the northern part of the sky. Um, the Pleiades are right here in the winter sky, and they are right in the back of the constellation of Taurus the Bull. Now, if we were to go from Orion's Belt right here, but instead we stop at the first bright red star that we see, we come to the rest of the constellation of Taurus the Bull, basically. Um, this bright red star we have right here is a star called Aldebaran, which stands for the follower in Arabic. And that's because this star is always following the Pleiades in the sky. Um, so it looks, since everything moves from east to west, it looks like this star is always chasing after the Pleiades right here. Another name for the star is the Eye of the Bull, and that's because it kind of looks like it sits on the Eye of Taurus the Bull. If you need a little bit of help with your imagination, we can turn the artwork on right here, and we see that the bull has a bowl cut for some reason. <laughs> a bowl cut. Um, and then we see that the Aldebaran right here is the eye. Then we have a V-shape of stars right here that make up the face. And then we have the two horns that extend very high up in this direction towards the sky. So we have that we can find the constellation of Taurus, the bull, using Orion's belt right here and following upwards and to the right in the sky. Now we're going to use Orion's belt and go in a whole other direction. We're going to go downwards and to the left. And when we do that, we come to a very, very bright star in the sky. And this is actually the brightest star in the night sky and it is a star called Sirius. Now Sirius belongs to the constellation of Canis Major, which is the big dog. Now if there's any Harry Potter fans out there, you might recognize the name Sirius Black, and in the books or the movies, uh, Sirius can transform into a dog, into a big dog actually. And here we can see that the author of Harry Potter actually got a lot of inspiration from the stars and from the sky, so that's pretty cool. Now we're going to find another bright star using kind of Orion's belt, but also his knee. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from Rigel to the first star in Orion's belt right here, and then kind of curve over to this other bright star that we see right here. And this is a star called Procyon. And it's not an overly bright star. It's definitely in the top maybe 25, I think. I'm not sure. Um, but it belongs to the constellation of Canis Minor. So if we find the big dog in the sky, it's only fitting to find the little dog in the sky right here. And in reality, this constellation is only like two stars right here. So we like calling it the hot dog in the sky. Uh, but story-wise, it goes that these two dogs are Orion's hunting dogs. So they're following Orion as he is hunting this bull in the sky, helping him out in this great battle in the sky. So that's pretty cool. 
Now, another fun thing about Procyon and Sirius is that together with this Bright Star Betelgeuse right here, they make up something called the Winter Triangle. And that's because when you piece together three dots, you get a triangle. And these are three very bright stars, very easy to find in this part of the sky, so we made an asterism out of that. So we call these three stars together the Winter Triangle. So that's pretty cool. Now, the last constellation and group of stars we're going to find today, we're actually not really going to be using Orion's belt at all. Um, instead, we are going to be using his knee right here, or in this case, his foot, Rigel, the brightest star. We're going to be using Orion's two brightest stars. We're going to use Rigel right here. We're going to draw a line through the belt. So I guess we're kind of using the belt. Um, and we're going to go through Betelgeuse right here. And if we follow that line from Rigel to Betelgeuse and keep going, we come to these two bright stars up here in the sky, and these are Castor and Pollux. And these are the two brightest stars, or the two heads, of the constellation of the Gemini Twins. So these are five constellations we can find fairly easily in the winter sky. Four of them we can find using just the constellation of Orion right here in the middle. Again, we're mostly using the belt right here, but we're also using the knee and the shoulder of Orion to find these other bright constellations in the winter sky to help us navigate the sky a little better. So that's pretty cool. Thank you so much for joining us. Hope you learned something new. You should definitely try to go outside and find these constellations. At least if you didn't last week, you should try to find Orion. It's the easiest winter constellation to find. Um, if you go outside and it's really, really cold, please wear some layers. Even if you're just outside for a little bit, you want to be safe. Um, thanks again for joining us. If you like this video, please give us a like. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to our channel. We're going to be putting out a new video every week. And thanks again and hope you have a great week.